in one very memorable situation was um, Vint and I had been working on some uh, mathematical equations. Uh, we were math geeks, among other things, in, the, uh, in high school. And I decided that I wanted to explore these equations by having the computer compute a whole bunch of uh, different values and print them out. And uh, we, we, uh, we, we decided that we'd spend a Saturday working on the machine because we knew that nobody else would be using it in those days. We got to UCLA. I'd been given permission to use the machine, but I hadn't been given any kind of uh, uh, credentials or keys or anything like that. We get to, the, to UCLA and the, uh, the building was closed, locked. Now, this is a long time ago. This is um, spring of 1961, and uh, it's before terrorism, before major anti-war demonstrations, before all the kinds of things that changed the environment. Um, and I was, I was kind of, uh, we had, I had a driver's license, and I, I had a, access to a car, but I didn't uh, have any keys to the building. So we had driven over from high school, from where we lived in San Fernando Valley, and the building's locked, and I'm, I'm thinking, well, that ruins the entire day. And Vit looks up and sees that the second story window is open. Uh, <laughs> they, um, it's a casement window, as it's called. It's, a, it's got a crank, and uh, yeah, window, right. window's open. <laughs> and I'm looking up at that and, and see what his reaction. I'm thinking, no, we're not really going to do that, are we? And next thing I know, he's on my shoulders, um, literally. <laughs> and he, he crawls in, and... Uh, comes around and he opens the door. Now these, the doors on this building are institutional doors. You know, they have the big heavy bars and, and you, you push it over. 